Children's Internet Protection Act compliance. My dad works at a public school and does the IT for them. And one of the things that's a requirement if you're a school is that you comply with a federal law called the Children Internet Protection Act, which basically says that if you're providing internet to children in a public environment, you have to filter the content to prevent them from accessing all of the bad stuff on the internet. One of the easiest ways to do this is with OpenDNS. And while you can use NetNanny or a whole bunch of the other solutions to do this, OpenDNS is probably the easiest and surest way to get it across all of the platforms. The problem with something like NetNanny is that if somebody brings in a browser on a thumb drive, they can go anywhere they want because it won't be guarded by NetNanny. However, because OpenDNS runs at the DNS level and can be set at the router or switch level, there is no bypassing it. It can be put into place and only the administrator can whitelist and blacklist sites. And because they're constantly updating their site, you have the lowest chance that something's going to get missed. So OpenDNS is great because it's free, it's easy to set up, you set it once in your, your main router on your internet connection, and you then have site-wide coverage, and because it's just a good service. I also like that because you can set up some of the shortcuts and other advanced features that come with OpenDNS, you can have a shortcut that is lunch, and say this is where the lunch menu lives. And it's kind of like being those old AOL days where you can have keywords to get people to where they need to go. OpenDNS is not the end-all solution in security for your K-12 network, but it's a great solution for getting the filtering out of the way, speeding up your network, and even monitoring where people are going because its internal tools will tell you which percentage of your students went to which places and you can see what the most common websites are. And this can be great for determining where you should have better caching, what sites you might want to block, and just what trends are happening in your school.